placement. Children, in class 11, you have a study about the business. What is called business? What are different types of business? What are different uh, organizations of business? What is the nature of business? Etc. Etc. We have discussed in much detail in class 11. In class 12, we have to study about the management of business. How is business managed? in such a manner that different goals and objectives of business can be fulfilled, can be achieved. Okay, so our first topic of the first chapter is about management. What is called management? Before going in detail, what is called management, let us first define what is called an organization. Right? What is called an organization? An organization is a group of persons working together to achieve some predetermined goals and objectives that is called an organization. An organization may be very large like a multinational company operating in more than 100 countries and an organization may be very small like a small school uh, <coughs> near your near your home, home near your residence etc you might be so many organizations big or small what is called an organization once more let us define it it is a group of persons okay it does not mean that all groups of persons will be called as organization only that group of persons will be called an organization who work together to achieve some predetermined goals and objectives as for example, a school is an organization because there, there is a group of persons uh, working together to achieve the objective and goals of a school. Similarly, a hospital is an organization because the persons working in hospital are making their collective efforts to achieve the goals and objectives of hospital. Similarly, there may be so many other organizations like NGOs, like multinational company, like domestic company, a business firm, etc. etc. Okay, there might be some charitable organizations, religious organizations, etc. It is now clear what is called an organization, a group of persons working together to achieve some predetermined goals and objectives. Okay. An organization is basically of the two types. One is called business organization and the other is called non-business government goals and objectives. Okay? An organization is basically of the two types. One is called business organization and the other is called non-business organization. Already you know the difference between a business organization and non-business organization. So far as management is concerned, Management is required for both types of the organization, whether it is a business organization or it is a non-business organization. A business organization is one which is engaged in generating profit and a non-business organization is one which is engaged in some social, religious, cultural and other activities. So long as management is concerned, it is required to manage both types of the organization, whether it is a business organization or it is a non-business organization. Okay, now let us discuss what is management. Simply you can say, managing an organization in the better possible way is called management. It is a simple definition of management. But management of an organization can be defined from different angles, from different points of view. Such as management can be defined as a process, management can be defined as a science, management can be defined as an art, management can be defined as, uh, as an activity, etc. etc. At last, I will give you a comprehensive definition. But now we shall discuss management one by one. Management as a process, management as an activity, management as a science, management as an art. First, let us understand. <coughs> okay, so long as management is concerned, it is related to all types of the organization, whether it is business or non-business, whether it is large or it is small. 
or even it is a tinny shop or it is a retail shop or a shopping mall there is a need of management in fact always there is a need of management everywhere where there is a group of people working together to achieve some predetermined goals and objectives let us first define management as a process but before defining management as a process let us understand what is called process process means what process is such a thing which involves different steps when we perform something into different steps step by step into different stages then that is called a process the management is not one time activity rather it is a process entire process of managing of handling the organization in a successful manner in a smooth way management as a process of what management is a process of planning organizing a staffing directing and controlling that means what that means ki whosoever is the manager of a company whosoever is the manager of an organization whether it is business organization or it is non business organization a manager has to perform five main functions that means ki management undergoes into five different stages or management has to work according to five steps by taking five five steps and these steps are planning organizing staffing directing and controlling in a simple and a straight way if i ask you what is planning and planning for what a manager plans for business a management organizes a manager organizes the activities a manager a stops the manpower a manager directs the efforts of the people working in the organization and a manager controls the standards laid down by it that is why management is defined as a process of planning organizing staffing directing and controlling so as a process management is what as a process management is planning the organization management is organizing the organization management is staffing means manning the organization management is directing the efforts of the people of the organization management is controlling the standards of the organization clinical activity management involves uh, managing the technical aspect of the organization utilizing the latest technologies utilizing the uh, applying the latest methods ah uh, developing a skills utilizing the a skills to utilize available resources better way in a better way yani ki that means management as technical activity involves management of technology in the organization a manager has to adopt the technical things management has to be very much technical while making decisions and solving the problems related to organization management is a technical activity after that management is a commercial activity so long as a business organization is concerned it is mainly engaged in commercial activities commercial activities here means buying and selling activities a business organization has to buy a lot of things and has to say its product okay product there may be single product there may be more than one product okay so while involving in commercial activities management has to manage the buying and selling activities of the organization this is the commercial aspect of management after that financial activities financial activities here means arranging finances for making business a smooth to operate the business a smoothly there is a need of finance any time everywhere while running the organization there is a need of capital a manager has to manage the required capital the required finance for the organization 
from where the finance can be obtained at minimum possible cost in what manner finance can be invested and whatever profit generates through investment of finance in the business how this profit will be distributed among owners all this come under financial aspect of the organization therefore a manager of the organization has to see has to manage the financial aspect of the organization so after that auditing and accounting every day there is inflow and there is outflow of cash in the organization it needs to be estimated properly a record has to be maintained for all these thus management as a financial activity involves management of finance in better possible way so that profit can be maximized and cost of finance can be minimized after that after finance accounting and auditing it means bookkeeping and record maintaining of cash inflow and cash outflow time to time verification of financial activities and time to time examination has to be done has to be carried out it is done by managers therefore management involves uh, accounting and auditing aspect of the organization after that safety and security related activity management act an activity related to safety and security means it has to provide safety and security to all working in the organization here safety and security means financial security and fiscal security both okay the managers of an organization have to ensure the financial security and safety of the people working in the organization as well as fiscal security also or overall management has to provide the required sufficient security to all physical and human resources in all respects so managing the safety and security in the organization is also an important aspect of management after that managerial activities managerial activities again involves planning organizing staffing directing and controlling thus when management is defined as an activity it is a technical activity it is a commercial activity it is a financial activity it is accounting and auditing related activity it is safety and security related activity it is manager management related activity so management as an activity can be defined as t c a s a now let us see the third definition that is management as a science children do you know what is called science science means systematic a study of anything is called science simply although there is very advanced definition of science but here simply science means involving the questions like why and how science children do you know what is called science science means a systematic body of knowledge based on experiments and observations explaining cause and effect relationship of different variables and whose quantitative verification is possible it means science involves experiments science involves observation science involves the questions like why and how uh, the results of science can be verified etc these are the different features of science now let us take management as a science there might be controversy among the scholars some scholars have regarded management as a science some scholars have regarded management as an art and some scholars say that management is a science and art both 
Now we have to confine our study here only on definition of management as a science. What is management as a science? Management as a science is systematic arrangement of the resources of an organization to achieve the organizational goals and objectives in a cost effective manner okay in a cost effective manner cost effective manner here means to <coughs> achieve some goals at minimum possible cost maximum return minimum cost this is all about management as a science therefore <coughs> as a science management involves decisions making all those decisions come under management as a science which are related to generation of profit in a cost effective manner <coughs> management <coughs> management <coughs> in fact is the <coughs> management in fact is the science of utilizing available physical and human resources now let us define management as an art management is not merely a science but an art also art of what you know children a group of person works in the organization <coughs> a lot of people works in the organization and to get from then the works the results in a unanimous manner or in the desired manner is really a difficult task now in directing function what managers do managers simply direct the efforts of the people working in the organization the appointed people make efforts that means they are for what they are for achieving group goals and in long term they have to achieve organizational objectives therefore there is a need to direct to direct their efforts and for directing the efforts of the people the managers simply involve a uh, supervision motivation leadership and communication all these things we will study in detail in the coming chapters okay after directing the number of controlling comes what about controlling controlling means achieving a standards laid down by the management for different activities through controlling the manager see whether the works are being performed according to a standard or as per directions or not whether the organization is running as planned or not all these things are evaluated in controlling therefore the last step of management process is controlling overall we can define management as a process of planning organizing staffing directing and controlling the enterprise for what for achieving the goals and objectives of the organization how through efficient and effective utilization of the resources okay this is management as a process now let us take another definition of management that is management as an activity how can you define management as an activity in fact in short you can say management is some total of t c f s a n t c f s a n here means t for technical activity c for commercial activity f for financial activity a for auditing and accounting activity n for 
a managerial activity is for security and safety related activities etc etc so management is a technical activity in what sense because it has to involve the required technology in performing different activities of the organization management has to be okay in organizing function managers have to arrange the activities in a systematic order the management has to fix responsibility management has to assign duties management has to determine authorities management has to uh, determine accountability etc in organizing function unless these things are better determined and decided the organization cannot run in a systematic manner therefore the second step of management involves organizing the activities that means utilizing the resources in a better way by arranging the activities of the organization in a systematic order the third step of management process is a staffing do you know when organizing function is performed several post and positions are created in the organization or in the organization these post and positions in fact are related to different roles which have to be played by different persons to play each role and to sit over a particular post and position a particular type of human ability is required therefore while performing a staffing function a match is done between the expected potential and required potential of a person and the most eligible person is appointed for the concerned job for the concerned post okay so when we say a staffing it means manning the organization or you can say filling up different post and position of the organization with eligible competent and efficient persons that is a staffing the next a step of organizing a uh, management process is directing once the competent persons are appointed in the organization mm -hmm. at different post and positions they need to be directed their efforts need to be directed the managers have to direct the efforts of the people in such a manner that the goals of the organization can be easily and simply achieved and existing resources of the organization can be effectively and efficiently utilized so directing function in fact is the function when it is performed management is said to be in action or management when performs directing function it is supposed to be in action why because management directs the activities the efforts the thoughts of the people when we talk about management as a process it means it involves different steps basically there are five steps of management involved and they are planning organizing staffing directing and controlling it means a person who is engaged in managerial activities in the organization has to perform five basic functions or has to follow five basic steps and they are planning organizing staffing directing and controlling here let us define planning organizing etc one by one let us first define planning what is called planning planning as a first step of management process is deciding in advance the future course of action as what to do how to do when to do and by who is to be done in fact it is a blueprint of the future activities what type of activities will be undertaken by managers in future in coming days all these come under 
planning and the first step of management managerial process is planning the second one is organizing organizing means what organizing means giving a structure to the organization setting a hierarchy of authority and responsibility